My name is Candice Brathwaite. I'm a Sunday Times best-selling author and I'm a TV presenter on ITV in the UK. I'm here in Barbados because I'm working with ITV to create like a mini docu-series about me exploring my heritage, about Bajan tourism and just generally about the beauty that the island has to offer. I got on really well. I got to see Barbados from a totally different perspective. I've been coming here annually for at least three decades, but this is the first time I really had to explore my heritage or go and do things that are quite touristy. Normally, if I came by myself, I'd just be on my auntie's veranda. So it's been a very different experience. I'm really surprised at how much there is to do as a tourist because like I said I've never come in that kind of capacity before. You've got great food, I'm talking about street food, you've got oysters, you've got great restaurants, obviously you've got great beaches on your doorstep. Don't get me started on the Mount Gay Rum Distillery, that is a must on everyone's list. And of course you've got the beauty and slight heaviness once you discover the history around St Nicholas Abbey but these are all really important landmarks in Bajan history and of of course just the culture of liming you can find a rum shack or shop on every corner and that really is my vibe some of the places that have really stood out to me over the last week has definitely been oysters i've been to oysters before but i've never seen it so bustling and so busy and all of those people really drive up the positive energy definitely love the beauty of st nicholas abbey i've never seen grounds quite like it in barbados it truly is beautiful and again the mount gay rum distillery i know i keep coming back to that it's an absolute wonder, but more so because the people showing you around are supremely educated in their craft. So I will definitely come back. And of course, I really want to shout out where we stayed, the Southern Palms Beach Resort. It's in a beautiful location. Pink is one of my favorite colors and it's just slathered in pink. So it's really me, it's really a vibe. As a mum, it's been a really great place to spend time with my children. It really is a great place for kids. You've got a really great pool and again, so much to do on your doorstep. And in my opinion, it's at the quieter end of St. Lawrence Gap. You can get a slight thud of the good music, but you can still catch a really good sleep. So I will say Southern Palms is a place to be. And whilst I was here in a work capacity, my partner took that as time to basically babysit in 30 degree heat and I wasn't going to blame him. And it's been amazing. Barbados really is a family orientated island. You don't feel a way taking your kids anywhere. I mean, even at Oysters at 9 p.m. at night, there was like a six month old baby learning to walk. Like every age is welcome in Barbados. So we felt it's the kind of place that we will return to doing family holidays annually like I did. And it's kind of like part of that heritage and that tradition. So for anyone watching and you perhaps know me off ITV or you know me at home in the UK and I must say I was stopped quite a few times in Barbados so a few people know me over here. I would say if you haven't come to Barbados please please explore this wonderful island and if you have been I know I don't need to encourage you to come back because sometimes there's nothing more you can say that view speaks for itself.